Good morning, sir. We have split up this presentation into four topics. To begin with, we are going to speak about the germination of our idea, the problem that we have and the solution that we came up with. Then we move on to the services that we are going to consume and expose, the tech stack we are going to use and lastly, a brief overview of our implementation plan. Now speaking of the problem, many documents are still in paper format. This makes it difficult to organize and manage them. It is highly difficult to find a particular document when the need arises. In most cases, we do not even require the original document. A soft copy would do the job, but we still have to go through piles of documents just to get a photocopy. And also, these documents that are stored in paper format are not accessible remotely. Security is a major concern when it comes to hard copies. They are highly prone to physical damages. Due to the advent of e-commerce, we now have to deal with a lot of online invoices. They are scattered across various websites. It is very easy to lose track of them. The problems are abundant. The list presented here is very comprehensive. Every individual and household has a lot of different documents. Here are some samples. We are going to address each and every problem in this and the following slides. The problem of paper documents can be solved by storing them in digital formats. A soft copy is more portable when compared to a hard copy. Storing the documents in the cloud will solve the problem of accessibility. All you need is a good internet connection and you're good to go. The sheer volume of both the online and offline documents makes it harder to retrieve them. This problem can be solved by tagging the documents based on their content. The documents in the cloud will be stored after encrypting them. This makes it impossible to retrieve them without the user login. This will be a single point at which all the documents can be stored. This reduces the hassle of searching through different locations. Now coming up to a business plan. Documents are an integral part of our society. From defining the identity of a person to recording the history, they are everywhere. We expect to make Dumbo accessible to every single digitally literate person. We want it to become a necessity in today's world. Our mission is to make the document organization and retrieval process as simple as possible without compromising on the security. Now coming to the use case diagram. This use case diagram is not complete, but it shows most of the features. Use cases. As you can see, we have listed a few use cases in this slide. This list is very comprehensive. We are offering a whole array of unique features. Unsupervised tagging of files is a game changer. It changes the way we search for documents. Even the present leading cloud services do not encrypt the documents. This poses a serious threat to the privacy of the users. We are going to encrypt the files before storing them. A lot of files become obsolete after a certain time. To counter this, we set an automatic deletion time on the documents if needed. Now coming up to the market analysis. This graph lists some of the leading cloud services. Google Drive leads the market share with an occupancy of more than 30% followed by Dropbox with a comparable 20%. We expect to enter the market by offering some unique features. It is an openly accepted fact that companies like Google and Dropbox look through the files to get our data. This is mostly to give personalized ads. We at Dumbo are not interested in the user data. Providing tags to the documents will make the retrieval a lot easier compared to the traditional search using file and folder names. Potential customers. As we mentioned before, every digital literate person is a potential customer for our application. Okay, uh, now coming to the services. We plan on consuming some services which help us in the tasks of document storage, document conversion, and document tagging. As you can see, here's a list of popular cloud services. We chose Amazon AWS S3 because of its ease of usage and the pricing they offer. It is widely used and also popular among many software developers. When it comes to converting the format of documents, we have found three APIs that achieve this task. Among these, I Love PDFs is the most promising service. It has a clear documentation and also has a Python library. Finally, when it comes to the task of document analysis and tagging, we are going to use two famous APIs offered by Google. The Vision API for OCR and text, text retrieval and the Cloud NLP API for creating useful tags for the document. Moving on to the services we plan on exposing, we plan to expose three services. The first one lets the users add documents from other sites into their Dumbo profile. The second service allows the users to upload documents from their profile to any other site. And uh, all the documents need not be private. Documents like certificates, identities, achievements can be put for public display by the user. 
the third service that we plan on exposing will allow people to view a particular user's public documents using the user's unique username moving on to the tech stack since we do not require a front end intensive website we chose the traditional tools tool set shown html css javascript bootstrap and materialize and given the limited time we aim to rapidly develop the application with a clean design hence we chose django which offers both of them for the purpose of storing files and account information we need to use a combination of database and file system to make it scalable since the account information and paths to the files in the file system are relational we chose to go with a relational database we chose postgresql because it is more scalable than other choices and microsoft teams github clickup and google docs are used to collaborate and uh, now i'll be showing you the implementation plan the we have divided the implementation plan develop or the development process into three phases as shown uh, all the dates mentioned here are tentative and a more detailed form of work division will be shown in the artifacts and the gantt chart this is the project timeline uh, these are the work divisions and uh, now i'd like to conclude the presentation and look at our team members